Second last contestant is from South Australia. He's the number one auctioneer in South Australia, as well as being one of the top salespeople in Adelaide. He has been described by his clients as professional, dependable and a delight to work with. I thought that was pretty boring, so I dug up some more dirt. Thanks, Lindsay. Uh, Phil comes from a... Well, it's, we're talking about Phil Harris here, so I'll be, I'll be blunt, Phil. Phil comes from a uh, professional tennis playing background before he got into real estate, and word has it that uh, when he got into real estate, he didn't have enough money for a car. So he had to borrow his father's car and made his father ride a push bike to work. He's young and dynamic. Please welcome Phil Harris. Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Come with me for just one moment and let me give you a glimpse into the day of the life of the lucky new purchaser of this magnificent lifestyle property. Your alarm clock goes off at 6am. You make the short stroll across the 20 metres of sand dunes to commence your brisk early morning stroll where the smell of fresh sea air makes you realise how good it is to be alive. You don't feel like making breakfast this morning. But that's OK, because just a further 10 minutes down the beach, you find yourself sitting at Cafe Mondiali's ordering the Sunday morning breakfast special. Back home, out onto the balcony to read the paper as you watch the yachts from the Seacliff Yacht Club just casually sail on by, which leaves you with just one decision left to make. Is it going to be a round of golf at the Glenelg Country Club just around the corner or perhaps a day out on the water in your brand new power cruiser? Sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Well, today, buyers, all this can be yours. By way of introduction, my name is Phil Harris. I am your auctioneer today. Anthony Toop on my left-hand side, and together we proudly represent the firm of Toop & Toop Real Estate, your licensed agents and auctioneers for today's proceedings, and we'd certainly like to welcome you all back to the landmark auction of number 33, the Esplanade, here in Glenelg. Very briefly, before I ask you for your bids, a couple of things I will be doing. I'm just going to quickly praise you through the contract of sale and the terms and conditions. Upon completing those, I'll welcome any last-minute questions you may have, and we'll get straight underway with the exciting part, which is, of course, your bidding. Now, for your own confidence here today, we will be offering the property under those standard terms and conditions set out by the Real Estate Institute, and that alone should only encourage your bidding here this afternoon. The contract of sale, the Section 7 statement, they've all been available here on site for the last half an hour or so, and they do run precisely consistent with the documentation that has been available at our offices for your perusal for the last three clear business days. The legal description of the property is allotment 23 on deposit of plan 2473 in the area named Glenelg, Hunter of Adelaide, whole of the land comprised in copy of certificate of title, register book volume 5149, folio 15, with a title indeed representing Torrens for your buying here today. The chattels passing with the property, well, they're straightforward. All fixed floor coverings, light fittings and window treatments and excluded from the sale all the vendor's personal effects, non-standard telephones, loose furniture and potted plants. The terms and conditions we're selling under, well, they're straightforward. They don't vary at all from auction to auction. The property is offered subject to a reserve price. The highest bidder shall, upon the fall of the hammer, be the purchaser, only where the highest bid is at or above the reserve price. As the purchaser, you'll be required to step forward, execute a contract, pay a deposit of $60,000 with a residue of the purchase price payable upon settlement, settlement has been put down for Friday, the second day of November. There are no variations. Now, today I make it very clear. You are, in fact, bidding for two specific reasons. One is, of course, for outright purchase on the property, and the other, that is, in the event the eventual reserve price is not being met, we are going to negotiate exclusively with the highest bidder. So to secure first rights at negotiation, you must be the highest bidder, so please don't hold back with your bidding here this afternoon. As the auctioneer, I do reserve the right to make one or more bids up to but not including the reserve price. These bids, if any, will clearly be declared as being vendor bids by myself, the auctioneer. Upon the fall of the hammer, the property is at the risk of the purchaser. So accordingly, you will need to take out an immediate covered of insurance on the property as you will have an equitable interest in the home. 
Any person bidding, you shall be personally bound by your bids made during the auction. If the property is subsequently knocked down to you, and finally, as the auctioneer, I do reserve the right to arbitrate a disputed bid, my determination shall be final and binding. Ladies and gentlemen, in essence, that is the contract of sale and the terms and conditions. I believe they are both precise and fair. Are there any last-minute questions at all before we get underway with the bidding? Yes, madam. Very valid question, uh, Madam. Unfortunately, we won't necessarily be announcing when the reserve price uh, will be reached. However, I'll give you three clear calls. And on that third call, when the contract drops, property gets sold. I can't be fairer than that. So good luck with your bidding here today. Hope it goes well for you. Any other questions at all, ladies and gentlemen? All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what a property. Style, craftsmanship, sophistication irreplaceable position. Five words that encapsulate the very essence of living in this iconic landmark property. 33 the Esplanade. The status and prestige of the address is nothing short of legendary. The home itself, an architectural statement hand sculpted and designed for the modern visionary. Upon releasing this home for sale, it has quite literally been an avalanche of inquiry after inquiry, and it's not hard to see why we look at the lifestyle, the accommodation, and the facilities that are all available right here on your doorstep when you buy today. Elaborate craftsmanship hallmark this luxury property where literally no expense has been spared. As I look around the audience, it's great to see the growing families back here once again today. You've seen it and you've loved it. The four massive bedrooms. Huge master suite, fit for a king and queen with his and hers walk-in robes. And who could forget that balcony with the French doors that spill out. Just absolutely ideal for that early morning cuppa to watch the world go by. Take a moment to think of the expansive floor plan that quite literally meets a mirage of multiple entertainment venues. On any given Saturday night, you might find yourself downstairs throwing a party in the entertainment room with 50 of your closest friends perhaps having a few drinks at the full-scale reproduction Irish bar with three separate beers all on tap. If that's not enough, full nightclub facilities. Dance floor, surround sound, quality lighting, and what good's your own nightclub without your very own disco ball? Pretty special, isn't it? For some of us, though, I guess it's the simpler things in life. Perhaps grabbing a bottle of wine, heading upstairs to that exquisite kitchen as you casually just slide your fingertips across the top of those incredible granite bench tops. The kitchen family room, the cafe shutter doors that slide all the way open, bringing the outside in and the inside out, spilling out onto the alfresco de decking where you've seen yourself holding a barbecue, entertaining guests and friends in absolute quality and style whilst watching the kids just casually swim a few laps of the lap pool. You see, today, buyers, we give you an opportunity to not only acquire arguably one of the finest lifestyle opportunities available right here in cosmopolitan Adelaide, but an opportunity to invest in the absolute epicentre of premium capital growth for South Australian residential real estate. Ladies and gentlemen, you've seen it. You've loved it. Now's your chance to own it. I'm now going to declare the property available for your competition. I'm in your hands. What am I bid? What am I offered? For number 33, the Esplanade here in Glenelg, an opening bid to get me away. Start me where you like. Just one at a time with the bidding buyers. No need to all rush it at once there. Looking for an opening bid to get us away. Been quite in north of me. In. Happy to start on the lower end of that. Is there a million dollars to get us away? Start me where you like, buyers. $900,000. Thanks for getting me started, sir. Good luck with the bidding here today. Hope it goes well for you. And $900,000. Be good buying at that value, I'm sure. And I'll take a $25,000 increment rise from there. At $900,000 the bid now. Thought there'd be a sea of hands at nine twenty five. dollars I would have thought. At nine hundred. Nine hundred thousand. Nine fifty. dollars did you say, madam? Good bid, madam. At nine hundred and fifty. Good to see you at nine fifty. I'll take seventy five at the rear, if you like, sir. At $950,000 here in front. At $975,000, can I say? Nine seventy-five and a million I have now. A million dollars are away. Two hundred at this stage. Take your twenty-five now or fifty if you like, madam. At one million dollars to bid now. Taking twenty-five in time. A million dollars. You're out now, madam. At one million the bid now. At one million dollars now. One million dollars bid it off and taking a twenty-five thousand dollar rise. At one million. One million and twenty-five. Good to see you, sir. A million and twenty-five. New bidder in. At one million and twenty-five. Fifty can I say, sir? At one million and twenty-five the bid now. Here in front at one million and twenty-five. 
1 million and 50, did you say, madam? 1 million and 50, good bid. Back in at a million and 50, against you now, sir, at 1 million and 50 thousand dollars. Really, they bought on the first bid, sir, at 1 million and 50 thousand dollars. At 1 million and 50, the bid now, you're out already, sir, at 1 million and 50 thousand. Can't have one bid and stop, sir. That's not in the rules. At one million and fifty thousand, the bid. At one million and fifty, take your twenty-five in time. At one million and fifty thousand dollars, the bid now. All done, finished, and silent. At one million. All done. All finished. All silent now. First call now. Second call now. Third and final call now. All done. All finished. All silent now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Vendor reserves the right to bid. Place that now. At 1.1, so bids have been out, 1.1. 1.1, take your $10,000 arrives in there. At 1.1, the bid. At 1.1, take your tens in time. At 1.1, the bid now. At 1.1, I have taken a $10,000 arrives. 1 million 120, good bid, sir. Back in at 1 million 120. At 1 million 120, looking for 130 in time. At 1 million 120, the bid. At 30, can I say? At 1 million 120 thousand dollars, all done, all finished and signed. At 1 million 120, 30, can I say, sir? At 1 million 120. 140, good bid. 1 million 140, the bid now. At 1 million 140, 50, can I say, or keep me going in 20s, you tell me. At 1 million 140, at 1 million 140, back in for 60, can I say, sir? 1 million 140, the bid. At 1 million 140, at 1 million 140, the bid. 1 million 145, 1 million 145, at 50, can I say, sir? At 1 million 145, at 1 million 145, the bid now. At 1 million 145, you're back in for 50, sir? At 1 million 145. At 1 million 145, looking for 50 now. At 1 million 145, 150, good bid, sir. At 1 million 150, 1 million 155, can I say, sir? At 1 million 150, back in for five. At 1 million 150 here in front. At 1 million 150 thousand dollars. At 1 million 150, the bid now. First call now, buyers, at 1 million 150 thousand. Second call now, 1 million 150 thousand, the bid. 151, good bid. At 1 million 151, back in for 52, can I say? Don't miss it for a thousand, sir. At 1 million 151, come back in for 152. At 1 million 151, the bid. 152, was that in? At 1 million 151. If I told you on the market, I'd take it that means it back in, madam. At 1 million 151, ladies and gentlemen, instructions are clear. Properties on the market we are selling, going to be sold. At 1 million 151, the bid now. At 1 million 151, come back in for two. 152 is here. 152, three, can I say? 153, good on you. 153, 154, can I say? 1 million 153, the bid. Back in for four, sir. At 1 million 153, all done, all finished, all silent now. At 1 million 153. An exciting property, ladies and gentlemen. 154, good on you. 154, but madam, you won't miss it for one. 154, 155, can I say? At 1 million 154, at 1 million 154 here in front of madam, come back in for one now. At 1 million 154, the bid now, all done, finished and silent. At 1 million 154 thousand dollars. First call now, buyers at 1 million 154. Second call now, at 1 million 154. Third and final call now, at 1 million 154. Done, finished, silent. At 1 million 154. Can I tempt you back in for one, madam? Ladies and gentlemen, instructions are clear. Properties on the market we are selling, going to be sold at $1,154,000. Now's your opportunity. Bids here in front at $1,154,000. All done, all finished, all silent. Give you three clear calls. On that third call, contract drops, property gets sold. Now's your opportunity at $1,154,000. Selling away now, buyers. First call now at $1,154,000. Second call now at $1,154,000. Back in, madam. Third and final call now at 1,154,000. All done. All finished. All silent now at 1,154,000. Going. Going. Sold. Congratulations, Walpole. Big round of applause. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Toop and Toop Real Estate, congratulations to our purchaser, a magnificent buyer here this afternoon. Commiserations to our underbidders. We do appreciate your spirit of bidding. Thank you very much and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thank you. Thank you.